People want reliable power. They want clean power. They want affordable power. We knew the weather was demonstrably getting worse, but what we didn't realize yet was just how fast uh, renewable generation, distributed renewable generation, was just blossoming. This wasn't just a Vermont situation. It wasn't just a New England situation. The challenge of integrating renewables into the grid is one that it's present throughout the entire United States. It's a partnership, a research project that we've undertaken with IBM. Our specialty is to collect all of the data that's available and turn that data into insight that will help us to optimally plan and orchestrate the grid. This isn't just a forecasting tool. This is combining high resolution weather with a forecasting tool. I think it's pretty different than what we're seeing in the rest of the country. If you can count on when a solar panel is actually going to generate, if you can count on when a wind turbine is going to produce a certain amount of power, then you don't have to buy other sources of power to back that up. More accurate understanding of what the power production from our renewable sources can be is going to translate to a combination of reduced risk or reduced cost. Vermont Weather Analytics Center seeks to connect data that is not all that unique but it connects it with a powerful analytics and a powerful new tool to create something that's very powerful. By putting all of these techniques together, we can literally cut the air in energy forecasting in half. A hyper-local, hyper-accurate weather forecast that's precise down to one square kilometer is accurate 72 hours in advance. It links that to distributed generation, to renewable generation, and also links that in turn to what customers use. In the past, we kind of high wind would be forecasted and, and we would have a rough idea of where the damage would hit, but Deep Thunder provides the granularity which a normal model won't, won't provide. Here's exactly where the storm is going to hit. Here's exactly the nature of that storm and the duration of that storm. And here's what we're going to do about it to get your power on as quickly as possible and to keep the cost down when we're doing so. We've been able to achieve an accuracy rate for solar of 95% accurate. No one's ever done that before. We're at 93% accuracy for wind farms. That's incredible. This falls right into that category of providing real-time future information at your fingertips. That will save consumers money, and it'll also uh, clean up the, uh, the uh, generation mix in New England. Customers want to take more control over their energy future. They're going to want us to anticipate um, what they want to do or help them accomplish what they want to do with their energy to make it more secure, make it more reliable, make it more comfortable. Make it easier to handle and determine where do I get my energy from, how do I manage it, and what does it cost? How they were able to tie a weather model into a complex electrical system like they have now, to be able to predict load, to be able to say, tomorrow it's supposed to be a sunny day, this is what the forecast is gonna look like. I mean, that's incredibly powerful to know what the future holds.